Let's talk about Warhammer 40K and the results of Games Workshop deciding that they wanted to change and retcon lore that's decades old so that they can bring in this mythical audience that everyone in entertainment is changing and it never shows up. In fact, it seems like the only thing that happens when companies do this is alienate the existing fan base that's built in, and you end up seeing stocks drop and closures and layoffs and all the fun stuff that happens to companies when they decide to alienate their audience, which seems to be happening with Warhammer. So yesterday, covered this, went over the lore changes, and talked about how you had... Games Workshop gaslighting fans and blocking fans that said, what's going on? And the response to that is fans are walking away. Numerous Warhammer players cancel their subscriptions and announce a boycott of Games Workshop after announcement of female custodies. So they're not happy about it. In fact, some people are actually somewhat open to the idea, but they don't appreciate how it was done. They don't like it, and now you're losing people that were a big part of your fan base. And from what I've seen, this is a pretty damn expensive hobby. Not cheap. It's a niche hobby that could bring people in, as it was probably already doing, through word of mouth. And now... It's got a division of players that you didn't need. Never needed this. Now, from what I've seen, you already had something in this, like these secret sisters that were in there, but they've just come in and changed the actual custodians for no reason. I'm going to get Arch on here for a video, and we're going to go over this because the guy is an expert when it comes to Warhammer and knowledge of what's going on here. And I think that would be a really good time to go over all of this. So here are some of the receipts. Park Place did a really good job of putting this together. Here's someone saying, Kiss my ass, Games Workshop, not another penny, and posted a receipt of his subscription being canceled. It will remain active until the 5th of September, 2024, and then he won't be charged again. It's a paying customer. Gone. And there's more than one. I hear he furthers up, saying, For those asking what happened, GW disrespected their lore by changing decades-old lore for the custodies, only taking males from the highborn families to Terra to become custodies, to nah, women can be custodies now, too. And they've totally always been a thing since the beginning. Couldn't you have just maybe changed it and say recently there's been some breakthroughs and we've decided to bring in more people? Why do you have to go back and change what was there through a retcon? I hate retcons. Most of the time, all they do is make a mess of things. Very few retcons have ever worked out very well. Uh, Here's another one right there with you is responding to the other guy right there with you. I don't think I'll be buying anything else from GW and I'm not even sure if I want to keep anything anymore. Another one. I canceled mine too. Right there. You see the receipt canceled mine too. I'm married with four kids. One is gay and other is trans. I'm not against female custodies, even though they've been the emperor's favorite sons for years. I'm against the gaslighting from GW, a good lore-based explanation would have minimized this. Exactly. Instead of just saying, yeah, it's always been a thing. Maybe come up with a reason for why. Make it good. You can do it and make it work, but it doesn't seem like that's what they wanted to do. Another one saying, I've canceled mine and sending an email that I want a refund if the decline 
If they decline, I will dispute it with the bank and have it charged back. I am not renewing my White Dwarf subscription, and I was planning to do the new Imperium subscription combat patrol. Not now. Here's another one. I've enjoyed this hobby since second as well. Long nights playing games with friends in a basement for years. I probably have models older than some of these people calling me a tourist. Yeah, sure. Now watch me leave with the money I have spent on future stuff. Here's another one. It goes further for me. I also unsubscribed to the 40K channels I was following, except for Arch's second channel, just to track an impending shit show that this IP will become. If the source material turns to slop, there is zero interest in having it uh, regurgitated by YouTubers. I'm doing the same, except Voldemort. I knew this shit show would come to 40K, but it still kind of sucks when it actually happens. And on and on, there's a lot of them. A, a big, big amount of, a, a large amount of people are canceling their subscriptions. And I don't blame them because it's honestly the best way to send a message to a company. So I was watching a little bit of the Side Scrollers podcast today. They had Arch on there. And he was going over this and talking about, yeah, it's going to take a while for this to hurt game, or Games Workshop because they have a large presence. But eventually, uh, you will see a lot of people leave. This isn't the first thing that they've done. It's crazy because, you know, I, I'm not a, a Warhammer guy. I've just been looking into this because there's people asking me to cover this. And uh, I, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Some of the War Channel, Warhammer channels have talked about it, and I've watched some of their coverage on this to see, you know, exactly how much of this has been a, a problem. And it, it comes off to me that Warhammer is a pretty right-leaning, maybe not, maybe not so much in modern times, but it seems like the things that the, especially like the Emperor and stuff, it seems like it's a pretty right-leaning, leaning lore <laughs> and environment. So it's wild to just come in there and change that to me. We'll get Arch on the channel, maybe a live stream, and really go over this. I want to hear more about what's going on with this. What's crazy is you've actually got probably the biggest thing for the franchise ever, that show that Henry Cavill's a part of. And I do wonder, do you think this is all being done because of the show? Like they want to have all of this in the show? It makes me wonder, like, you know, how much influence is Henry Cavill going to have over the show now? Like, are they going to be able to keep him happy? Is he going to leave? It's a lot of stuff here. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.